welcome, welcome. Whew, I am out. I'm gonna say nature, but it's in a little park, lovely little park. I've got myself a little nook here, it's very cool. It's a little hidden away, even though it's right out in the open. So, welcome everyone. I'm just gonna drink a bit of water with a little bit of pink salt in it. I have been going through the most exponential healing period, I would like to say of my life, but I've been through many. I've been in chronic pain for days. <gasps> Like, I mean, agony twisting on the floor. But here's the thing, I've been healing. I haven't just been laying there. I didn't like, I mean, not that I wouldn't say, I'm not telling you advice, like not to do what, but I didn't like go to the doctor. I like stayed in my healing haven and I healed it myself. I, because chronic pain, chronic pain is emotional people. Like it really is. Did you know that it, and it works the same as, as anxiety and depression and things like that. Your chronic pain, is speaking to you. So say hi as you're coming on. Welcome, welcome. It's so good to see you here. I am finally up and about. I couldn't even walk properly for a couple of days. Mm. No, longer than that. I could hardly even walk for almost eight days, nine days. I don't know. It was a long time. Let me just drink some water while I wait for people to come on. Yeah, I'm so glad I'm finally feeling better. And I just want to come on to share some beautiful things that I've learned. I've learned so much. So when you go on a chronic pain healing journey, you're not just healing the pain. This is what you have to realize. I really would love, if I could, if I could open secrets of my heart, and I know a lot about healing. I know a lot. I mean, an immense amount about healing people, about human psychology, about... Literally, if you have any problem, I can probably help you heal it. Like, I haven't met anything yet that I haven't been able to po have a positive effect on. And this isn't conceit. This is decades of experience. I'm 42 now. Had my first spiritual awakening when I was 22. And it doesn't mean like spiritual awakening, I'll go sit in a cloud. No, I started a very big, messy life. Lots of ups and downs. Lots of trauma. Lots of drama. <laughs> lots of things to learn through. And I learned from every single thing for 20 years now, 20 years, I've been looking at how did I co-create this? How did, when I did this thing, that happened? Okay, that happened. What did I do that caused them to say that? What did I do that caused them to treat me like for 20 years? A lot of people have only just started getting into this or been doing it for years. This has been my life journey, literally about half my life. And before that, it was just pain, 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 pain. Like just trauma, pain, abuse, pain. And yeah, you know, some, as I got older, some parties and fun times and stuff, but still mixed with a lot of pain. And I know that it was like part of my mission here on earth to have to go through so much intense traumatic stuff and learn how to heal it so that you don't have to. I mean, yes, you're gonna have to go through a lot of stuff, but there's so, I've been through a variety, I mean, just about everything so many darknesses uh, you would not believe just by looking at me today the amounts the, the amount of stress and pressure and pain and trouble that I've been in throughout my life and again I'm not just saying this for any other reason just so you know who I am so that you know that I'm someone you can learn from I believe the best people to learn from are those who have been through it The people who haven't just sit in a classroom and learn from some textbook, oh, you have this diagnosis. No, it's like, who are you? Why do you think like this? How are these patterns protecting you? That's what I'm here to help you do. I'm here to help you uncover the truth about who you really are. Not like, oh, I have this addiction or I have this negative pattern or I snap at my partner like this or I have this pain like this. I don't know why, it's just is. No, it's not just is. You are a profoundly and powerfully and wonderfully designed human being. You are a multi-dimensional thinker. You have the ability to be. And many of you watching this are. When you understand that your pain, emotional, physical, frustration, overwhelm, any problem you have that's causing you something that you don't want, 
or the deepest depths of the trauma. They're all just on a scale, on a spectrum. When you understand that it all has a divinely intelligent reason for being, then you can start to make sense of life. Things don't just happen. Things don't happen because the world is broken. Things happen because of the spiritual, the system of spiritual law. Hmm? So God, divine, infinite spirit, zero point field, the ultimate intelligence, universal mind. It has a profound set of laws. It's a fractal mirror feedback effect. And that's why you always get what you give out. Now, sometimes it seems like you don't. You're like, yeah, but I'm not lying, but they're lying to me. Okay, that, that doesn't have to be, you don't have to lie to get a lie back. But also, if you go back in past lifetimes through karma, you may be playing out karma in this lifetime from other lifetimes that you can't see. But you also don't necessarily need to know other lifetimes. If you do need to know, it will be revealed to you at the right moment. You just need, because everything gets unpacked in this lifetime. You get, you choose the family that you're born into so that they will reveal the right traumas and the right lessons, the right loves, the right hates for you, and it will come out in your soul. So, so, you have, so even though in one sense we're a blank slate when we're born, we're not, because we also have distortions in our soul. This is what the pathwork teaches, and this is what I've also learned throughout many other ways throughout the last 20 years of my intense and voracious study in spirituality and the human psychology and so where is my thread here I've got a few threads going on and so we choose where we're going to be born to bring out the lessons that we need and we choose key big moments and even people that we'll meet throughout life and that's why sometimes you get to some really random events like the way my and my husband met on that paradise beach in Thailand um, halfway across the world from where each of us were born like you get amazing miraculous moments where, where people meet that seem like almost impossible but it's because you decided before you came here and so God divine infinite spirits laws you show human psychology laws because everything moves through you it doesn't happen out to you it moves through you outwards back to you yeah so it moves through you out and back to you that's how reality works when you understand that reality is this fractal that keeps feeding you back the information that you're giving. Hello, welcome, welcome, hi, say hi, good to see you here. Then you can, then you know how to learn from life. And how do you learn from life? You look, well, how did I co-create this? Now, on one hand, sometimes, hello, hello little one, how are you? I'm doing a live stream. <laughs> The one over there. Um, oh, my foot's going to sleep. So, is this hitting home so far? What are you thinking? Okay, so most of you are probably going to catch on the replay. Um, oof. Oh, that's better. Look at my little boots. Look at my little pants. Boots. That foot's asleep. It's getting all tingly. <laughs> okay, so. Let's dive back in. So everyone, we all have problems, right? We all have things that we want to solve. It's that simple. And everyone's segmented life, like they keep, you think like, oh, I have this maybe, let's say chronic pain or anxiety or this tightness, whatever your, your thing is emotionally. And then I have these business goals. I have a relationship goal. So let's go and do all these separate things with this, which have its place. I'm not saying don't do that, but at the same time, when you understand that it's all interconnected and related, then you can make real progress. Because when I work with people in the chronic pain, I open up their business success. That's what I do. When I work with people on their business success and if they have chronic pain or anxiety or any, we all have emotional stuff. If you think you don't, then it's really repressed. 
okay? And then you need this work even more. <laughs> and you wonder why your manifestations aren't always working out how you want. You're wondering why certain relationships are falling flat or certain, like which area of your life is it that just isn't quite up to speed? It's because you've got repressed stuff in your unconscious mind that is running the show under the surface. And because it's in your unconscious mind, you can't see it. So you think that by not looking at your unconscious, Hello, welcome. Hi, Vesna. You think that by looking, you think that by not looking at your unconscious, at your negative, scary, hateful parts, let's say you think like a bad thought about someone and you go, oh no, no, I shouldn't be thinking this. I shouldn't be thinking this. And you just repress it down. Well, it doesn't go away. You, you still actually are active, active on that vein of thought in reality. And it's actually creating a feedback. So if you're smiling at someone yet, you've got pain about them inside. Maybe you either hate them or you're jealous of them or you feel insecure around them. You're smiling, you're doing the right things, but inside you're feeling pain, you're trying to hide it, which is fair enough, good. But at the same time, then you wonder why something goes sour or wrong in the relationship. Well, it's because they're actually responding to your emotions that you're hiding inside that you think they can't see and then on the surface you think it's not fair because if you really were feeling all smiley and happy like you were showing them then they would be completely rude to treat you how they were right and that's how it works but we keep forgetting that we are the ones at the center of our own individual reality each of us all of us and we each interact with each other and the reason why when you change yourself, like I've, I've, the reason why when you change yourself, other people change too, is because like I've had clients, many, 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 many clients, they come to me and we do just a few sessions of healing, sometimes one. And then all of a sudden, I mean, I could pick any family member, let's say their mother changes, she lightens a mood. A mum that for her entire life into her adulthood, was always negative and sneaky and, and, you know, meant well, but always had things to say. Would The client would go home, this happened multiple, multiple, multiple occasions, and then all of a sudden the mother would just have like this big open talk with them, like out of left field and play with them and like just be happy and jovial and, and get off their case. And they'll come back to me like, you won't believe what happened. I'm like, well, I will believe it, but it's amazing. It's because... When you change, you inside, others change too. That's how this world works. Isn't that amazing? How wonderful is that? <sighs> That's my favorite thing about this work. What I see in my clients. Is beyond what most people even realize is possible. And sometimes it's so amazing that people might think that I'm just speaking air but I've got video testimonials back it up I've got my own life experience you've got your heart and soul you can feel that I'm speaking the truth maybe you know because I am speaking the truth but can you feel it I learned long ago that lies destroy so we don't tell the truth to be a good person like morality points no it's a survival strategy you tell the truth you don't make things up doesn't mean you have to blurt everything out, but you don't make up stories. Even little things like, oh, I tried to call you, but it didn't go through. Cell phone tower must have down. That didn't happen. You just didn't call. Uh, don't do it. Oh, I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm almost there. I'm in the taxi now. You're at the side of the street waiting for the taxi to come, but you're not in there. Don't do it. Don't make that story up. I mean, how do you know that you couldn't get in even some accident and then you'll be caught lying? And it's, it's just like, it goes so much deeper than that. Spiritual laws, which we're talking about, which we started talking about at the start of this, are based on truth. And lies always crumble. Relationships built on lies crumble. Relationship built, relationships built where you hide who you really are crumble. So that's why it's about finding your authentic self, which isn't as easy as it sounds. You look part, you look, if you look back on my years and years of videos, years and years and years and years and years and years of videos, you'll see great pain on me as I show up and share. 
deep pain and, and embarrassment. I'm, I'm crying for my past self now. Humiliation, showing up. Because I knew that I'd already healed so much. Save my, with help of some, oh, some gifted others, save my own life naturally through energy work from a chronic lung disease that almost killed me. I was on death's door, I almost died, really. Bronchitis and pneumonia, months and months and months, years and years in a row. Until it culminated in that horrible walking pneumonia. But emotional healing saved me and it will save you too. Whether it is chronic pain you're going through or you want to manifest something amazing. The answer lives within your emotional state. And your emotions aren't just feelings, your emotions are thought processes layered upon each other, interacting with the world, moving through you and back to you. And when you understand how you work in relation to the world, you have the key. And I just saw this amazing quote, uh, I'll, it's on my stories at this second, but if I do a replay with this, I'll try to like maybe tag it or something like that. But it's by this uh, woman and she's it's so apt, so apt. She says, the funny thing about life and the tricky thing about life is that the road to heaven feels like hell. And the road to hell feels like heaven. At first, the road to hell feels like heaven. All those, I know this, I'm the, I'm, I'm, I'm the queen of the quick fix, the queen of the instant gratification, the queen of the party I was. I mean, in some ways I can be still, but I mean, not like I was. You know, I am so much more grounded. I've come through the addiction spirals in immense ways. It doesn't mean that like, I mean, there's so many addictions I've given up, so many. Others ones I've started, but at the same time, I'm like, I'm through this. I'm no longer this like, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need, I need every second of the day. There was a point years ago where all I could do was just eat tub of chocolate pudding. And, and I mean like hours a day, I just I, 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 I eat while I'm doing my spiritual work, trying to heal others. And it's because this deep pain that I couldn't access or process. And that was actually to do with the chronic pain that I've been processing over the last 10 days. Cause when you show up with a mission on earth to heal others, you're going to have some stuff come up and it's going to be big. It's not just going to be this easy ride. We didn't just come here for a holiday to this planet. We came here to do some work, <laughs> to change the world. If you're one of us, if you're, I don't know how you identify, but like a, a type of star seed or a multidimensional thinker, a spiritual hearted person, someone that you just know that there's more to life and people have told you that you're crazy and you're used to saying, oh, this sounds crazy, but, and you're sick of saying, this sounds crazy, but, and you know that what you're saying is true and real. And even though sometimes you've been proved wrong and you've upgraded your beliefs, you know that you see things greater than what other people do. Well, then you're one of us. And this is why I want to invite you to my Shadow Work Summit, which is coming up. It is so incredibly amazing. I'm so in awe of what's come through me. I've already done the first interview, even while I was in this chronic pain, twisting pain bubble for eight, nine, ten days, writhing on the floor, dancing somatically, using spiritual music from my Spotify playlist. Like, deep, like spiritual music is important. Secular music is laced with entities, negative energy, demons, however you want to look at it. It really is. I've vetted this. Like, I know this to be true. I know this to be true I, from experience. Not just, I didn't hear this. I didn't believe it. I, I listened to secular music. I was, I music up so loud and late till 6 a.m. in the morning. Neighbors will complain. I didn't care. Okay. Like, but through certain experiences, which I'll share another time, I know you have to be careful with music you listen to. And this is why I have some great Spotify playlists. Uh, I would love for you to follow me on Spotify, not because I really care about the following as such as I care about you and your, your spiritual health, your mental, spiritual, emotional health, and the great healing you can do. So I've, I've got hundreds, I don't know, maybe thousands by now of um, spiritual songs put together uh, in different playlists. 
I would love to share them with you. So let me know if you want that. Just message me and just say, you know, hey, can I have your Spotify playlist, whatever it is, or just find me on over there. I don't know how you do that. I'll figure it out. Okay. So I did my first interview as I was writhing in pain, but through that day, because you like go through waves and and you have to talk to the pain and you listen to it. And this is where I can help in my one-to-one -one work as well. My four-month container, exponential expansion, 16 weeks, one-to-one, -one, deep shadow work where I'll also give you some help to overcome problems in the DMs and supportive content as you want or require it. Okay. And so as the wave passed that day that I did happen to have that interview, my first interview for the Shadow Work Summit was so powerful. Ah. Oh, because we're not just interviewing, like we are doing an interview in a collaborative chat, uh, to talk about their story, and then we're, you know, talking about what's possible for you with healing. So good. And then I shut down my screen and they do a guided shadow work healing and an emotional healing for you. That is manifestation. That is success. That is bringing your health, your family, your love, your heart together. It really is everything, my love. Everything. If you have a shower every day, you need to be doing this most days. You need to commit your life to it if you really want that change. All these other things, these surface things, like you've got to be going deep into your psychology, into talking to your inner child, into your inner parts your sub-personalities, into connecting with God, your guides, the divine. This is real stuff, but you've got to seek it and want it as a priority. And you do have time. You think you don't have time? You have time. You just interweave it through and you just sacrifice some things in you. You put some Netflix down and you wake up early or you stay up late, whichever way you can do it on either end of the day. And you do it because you, it, your life depends on it. It does. The quality of your life, your family, your children, I'm telling you, I've seen it. I've been there. You need to know this is real. So, and probably you do. So this is your inspiration to know that I have a way. I have a pathway for you. If you want to, if you vibe with me, follow me. Get into my world. Sign up to my Shadow Work Summit. Do every single speaker. Make sure you add my email to your whitelist if you have to reply to it so that you make sure that the email sends it through. Or go to my social medias, my TikTok, my Instagram, my Facebook. Add me to your favorites. Put notifications on. Oh, I'm also on YouTube too. I mean, I'm even on threads trying to get over there. Make sure you can see me if you vibe with me. Otherwise, you might never see me again. And I'm showing up daily, even, even through my chronic pain, which I've transcended like a champion. <sighs> I have the goods. If you want to know how to heal, I can help you heal. If you want to know how to change your life, this is what I do. I've been doing it for 14 years. I've transcended the deepest pain. Hello, welcome, hi, thank you for joining, say hello. Oh, where are you from? I have overcome multiple chronic illnesses. Just now too, as I've just said throughout this recording. I am here to teach you how to go deep into your psychology and find your inner child, find your inner sub-personalities that you've repressed because you needed to survive as a child and it wasn't safe to feel. And bring it up to the surface and learn how to communicate with yourself. And as you, as you actually learn how to listen to the pain, it will talk back to you. Whether it's your chronic pain, your emotional pain, whether it's some fear you have, it has a voice. It wants to speak to you. It's yelling at you, but you're deaf to it. And I know how to help you heal. And I am on a mission to help a million families heal. And I don't need to work with the whole family, just one woman in each family. And I'm already off to a good start. Watch my testimonials if you want. You want to get more of a vibe. Who is this woman? Is she like just speaking air? No. Like I've helped people heal from the deepest and darkest things that nobody else has been able to help them heal. I've got a squirrel right in front of me. Oh my God, squirrel. I don't know if you can see it. Squirrel! Squirrel! Can you see the squirrel? Hello, squirrel! Oh my god, it's a squirrel! I didn't grow up with squirrels in Australia. Um, I'm, I'm in England now. Oh, it's right behind the tree. They're just like so cute. Oh, so, I was just talking about my Shadow Work Summit. My Shadow Work Summit coming up. If you want to get in... Oh, you couldn't hear anything? Oh no! 
You can now? Excellent. Um, thank you for being here. Um, so, if you want to get here on my Shadow Work Summit, now I just described it, but I know you just came on, so let me tell you again. The Shadow Work Summit is a free event, and this isn't just a regular summit where we get together and do interviews, which have their value, and I've done them before, and they're great. But this one is different. This one, we're doing the little interview part, and then I shut down my screen, and every speaker is going to guide you through your own Shadow Work healing. Okay, oh, the squirrel's up the tree. Can you see it? Can you see that? I don't know if you can. Tell me if you see the squirrel. Squirrel, squirrel, up there, there's a little tail, but yes. I haven't seen a squirrel in ages. Okay, so did you see the squirrel? <sighs> Shadow work something. Each speaker is guiding you through an actual healing, like an actual shadow work healing. So you're gonna get yourself set up in your room with, you're gonna tell whoever you need to tell, don't disturb me for the next hour. Uh, I'm gonna be doing some crazy lady stuff, gonna do some emotional processing. And every speaker is gonna guide you to something unique and you're gonna learn from them and you're gonna integrate it. And then at the end it's gonna culminate and I'm going to be doing my own healing for everyone as well, which you're invited to for free. This is a massive life-changing event. I really do believe that it's going to be before Shadow Work Summit for you and after Shadow Work Summit, if you show up to the majority of the episodes, you are going to learn so much. So just DM me if you want the word Shadow Work Summit and I can get you the invite for free. Um, make sure you're following me if you vibe with me. Otherwise, you might never see me again. Like you don't know how so you, you saw it. <laughs> That's awesome. You don't know how social media works. Like uh, it reaches down. So if you do vibe with me, maybe add me to your favorites. If you don't want it, that's okay. I also have, so get on the show work summit. I also have a free healers ebook. If you want to learn how to heal from me, read that. Um, it is so good and it's not too long either, but one of my readers, she's, she messaged me recently cause it's a recent release. And she said that something within the pages, even though I didn't speak about insomnia specifically, it cured her insomnia. Because I teach you how to heal. And the way you learn how to heal others and become a better healer in others is to learning how to heal yourself. And that's why I came to this earth with so many mental health and physical and PTSD problems, which I no longer have. I mean, have some, some health, some chronic health problems, which I've just told you I worked through over the last 10 days, writhing in agony, somatically moving it through. The last two, three days, I'm finally able to walk and like feel good again. Oh, my husband was scared. He wanted to send me to the hospital. I'm like, no, don't you dare, don't you dare call that ambulance, don't you dare. And I was like, because this is terror, this is terror to my mission, this is terror about my next level, this is old pain. And it turned out it was guilt about charging for my services, which is so profoundly beautiful and powerful. And people who work with me one-to-one, -one, it's like nothing else I've experienced. They've often tried, usually, like, I'm not really for the beginner person, although I could be, but... I'm, I'm more vibe with the people that you've done your inner work, you know, you know, you know the power of your inner work. And maybe you could do it more, but you just want someone that gets it and isn't just all about the fluffy positive stuff and isn't just about the negative stuff either. You need to know how to walk that line between positive and negative, how to dance with the shadow into the light. Like there's, that's an actual technical term, dancing with the shadow and walking it into the light. That means your negative, unprocessed, unconscious fears that are controlling your life under the surface and reflecting things back to you that you don't want, that's a shadow. You go into it and you talk with it, the monster within you, you make friends with the part of you that actually hates, that pretends that it doesn't, then you have taught some part of you that pretends it doesn't. And they have to go in and, and actually get through the barrier, the numbness barrier, the I don't want to experience this barrier, this is too painful barrier, and that's what I help guide you through. And as you feel the pain, and it's painful, it is, but you use the processes and you send it love and compassion, and guess what? It comes into the light and it starts changing its mind. So you don't release the fear. I release this fear. No, stop it. I release the fear into my body. I release this painful fear into my body, which means you're going to feel it even more for a moment. You're going to feel it even more but just for a moment. And then as it moves through your body and expands, it's a fear, moves through your body and expands. It heals, but also as you're using talk therapy, like self, an advanced type of talk therapy that I can teach you, you talk to it 
and you listen to it and it will speak to you in these weird ways that you didn't even know is possible. I'm not trying to be condescending. It just is like people don't, most people don't know this stuff. As I said, I've spent 14 years in the trenches of pain and healing and, and partying and fun and glitz and glamour sometimes and sometimes very uh, the opposite and up and down and around on a swirling path and obstacle course learning how to heal the deepest and darkest things so that you don't have to and of course you do have to heal your own stuff but as in like I came to this planet to heal a lot I have, I've healed so many things like I've been through so many things I've been in so much trouble in my life I've been in so much I've been in so much trouble I've been trouble and I've learned how to make myself a better person, how to purify my soul substance, which is everything. And this is stuff that you take through the next lifetime. This is stuff that you take into the other world. This is what it means to be, to be in heaven and hell means your emotional mental state. And when you're in the other world, your emotional mental state determines, and the same as this world too, but it determines which playing field you're on. Who, are you, who so, on earth we have a contrast you have much more contrasting of people you have people in heaven and hell states of mind interacting with you and it pisses you off it frustrates you it it it, it vexes you and this makes you have to face the frustration it makes you have to face the pain and learn how you are co-responsible for creating it, how you're absolutely 100 percent responsible in your own life for how that showed up why did that pattern show up how is it playing through Okay, and realizing that in their life, they're 100% responsible for how they're showing up. Okay, because we're multidimensional, and so we draw out personalities from each other depending upon our own energy and personality. It's a whole complex thing. I can tell you more about it. So, what have been your highlights and takeaways? I know I've just unloaded a lot of information for you, and thank you so much for being here live. Thank you so much, Try and Life, triple three, 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 three. One of my favorite numbers. Oh, what a lovely day. And especially since, oh, you should see my bubble room. If you want to go back onto my profile, I've done some, I think they're interesting. I've done some very interesting videos of the last week and two about my journey. They're just not your stock standard video. They are quite, I think, interesting. You love all the pattern recognition? Yes, I'm all about, like my, I have a Virgo moon and Aquarius sun, can you tell? So Virgo moon makes me really analytical and, I, and I've overcome and transcended it. And, and I understand the whole aspect. Some people are like against astrology and I understand why spiritually, but I also understand it does actually have a place and it is actually a reality, even though somehow there, are, it's not, you know, there's actually 13 months in a year and they've changed the calendar and all of that. Somehow it's still accurate. If you read your human design, there's accuracy to it. And so there's still something to it. Anyway, so I'm very great at analyzing emotions. And I, I'm a, a truly without conceit, just with 14 years experience, I'm an absolute genius at, in a positive way, manipulating the human mind. Like, not, I'm not talking about like I'm manipulating others. I mean, like guiding you to help you find the pain and the shame and the darkness and bringing it up and, and like manipulating it like a little piece of clay and bringing it up into the light and helping it change from I hate this to oh life is wonderful and it's a process and it can take I mean a long time sometimes but Virgo sun and moon in the eighth shared with Leo where my Mars and Venus are also conjunct. Oh my God, that's amazing. I think I think my son might be in the eighth. It's something like that too. That's so cool. Um, uh, what's uh, conjunct? Is that one of those harmonious ones? I love that. Um, I've got a um, Venus in Capricorn and a Mars in Libra. So as you can tell, Mars in Libra means that I haven't like been the most action oriented person, but it's I've had to work through how to do what's aligned for me and not just how to do what I think I should do. Because all my life I was always like, this is so hard. And it was my, it was like a mantra that I had, hey, this is so hard, this is so hard, this is so hard. And then one day I realized, wait there, our thoughts are instructions. And I'm instructing myself that this is so hard. Oh, they're on top of each other. Oh, I see, I see, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, so conjunct means they're on top of each other. And so I realized that our thoughts aren't just these pretty little things that are ugly little, pretty or ugly little things that we think about life. Oh, look, there's a tree. There's a squirrel. Where's the squirrel? And they're not just these things that we just think. They're actually instructions paving the way in front of us, forward in front of us. 
And so when I'm thinking, they're sitting trying to write, and I, I'm a writer, like it flows through me. Sometimes I try to write one page of a PDF and instruction, and it will literally turn into 13,000 words. It just actually happened in a day. Um, <laughs> what was I saying? The instructions. Yeah. And so I'm sitting there trying to write. And I'm thinking, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard, this is hard. And, no, and then I'm saying, mm, oh, poor me. And I'm like, wait there. I'm literally instructing my body and being to make it hard. And so this is how, and then you actually like try to get it from this, this is important. Try to get it from the same vein that you're feeling it and thinking it. Where are you thinking, feeling, thinking, hearing, thought? This is hard, this is hard. Well, if it's coming from in here or maybe it's up in here, you go into that area and you try to get it, keep talking. This is hard, this is hard, this is hard, but I would like it to be easy. What if it could be easy? What if it could be easier than I thought? This is hard, this is hard, what if it could... And it's the one to reframe, which is what I teach my clients. Uh, uh, my Venus is in Capricorn. Yeah. Yeah, Mars and Libra, Venus is in Capricorn. Uh, so that's an interesting one. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I used to be in some really interesting stuff. Um, I, I mean, I'm into a lot of interesting stuff, but my interests grow and change over life as I think they should for all. <sighs> so, well, oh, my Mercury's in Aquarius and my rising sign's in Cancer. Big nurturing, like a big these mama bear nurturing hearts. Like, I just like, everywhere I go, I can't, I just have like sploosh out spiritual experiences with people. I just can't help it. Like, everywhere I go, like, even like, with just people who would not ever expect to have a spiritual experience. Like, we just end up having some emotional release and some big hug and they end up having like some strength come into their body and some sickness heal and and just that's just what I sort of do <laughs> oh thank you I appreciate that oh this has been so good so I think I'm going to come back out here again I'm usually in my bubble room you'll see that on my profile um, all my other videos there I've got like all these great mood lights that I change with the different moods throughout my healing journey I find it loosely interesting at this point and know way too much about astrology. Yes, I'm the same. I, I like, I, I, even though I know it's a thing, I also know that what's more of a thing is our God given power, divinely guided, infinite spirit given power. That it doesn't matter what's happening on any day of the Mercury retrograde, we have the power. And yes, yeah, sometimes things do uh, fits up with mercury regret and things like that it does actually happen but at the same time i'm not going to let that be a factor i try to ignore when it is really even though i think some people can use it for me i prefer to tune into the power of god the power whichever word you like for infinite spirit divine a universal mind the universe whichever it is oh you can see that about me the the, the rising sign in cancer yeah, so I tune in to infinite spirit. Okay, show me the way. Guide me. Show me. Show me the truth. Like, here's the truth. The truth is I'm actually feeling insecure about this. Like, I'm a hot mess. Like, oh my God, I, 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 blah, 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 blah. But I know that you are spirit and you are in me. And I know that you are here for me. And I know that when I lean into your power, and I know that since God is for me, no one can be against me. <sighs> now, from this place, what do I do? And it's something I've been grounding in over the last, I mean, years, but six months. And then especially six weeks, like, like super exponential growth. Yes. We're free in Christ. Yes, absolutely. And Christ is our most highest loving spirit of all made completely of God's substance. The pathwork is something you might really want to check out. The pathwork. Pathwork.org and the unedited, no, no, the edited lectures, 1996, I think it is. I've, there's 258 of them. I've read them all twice and not just read, I've studied them in depth. I've done the emotional work. I've done the done journaling through them. I've spent, I mean, a myriad hours and they are the most profound spiritual teaching. And I'm just so excited to find someone who gets it because they're too advanced for a lot of people. A lot of people just start reading it and they don't see it. But they describe human psychology. They describe how to pray. They teach you how to connect with God the divine. It's so powerful. you got to check it out. And I'll send you the link if you just want to ask anything I've talked about in this. If you want me to send you any links, I will. If you want to follow me on Spotify for my spiritual music, let me know. And if you want to join the Shadow Work Summit, just send me the word Shadow Work Summit. 
And if you want to work with me one-to-one, -one, my exponential expansion package is four months, 16 weeks deep dive into whatever's important for you. And when we unlock one area, multiple areas unlock as well. Just go watch my testimonial. The full one is on YouTube and Facebook. I've got a shortened one on my Instagram from Aurora Hilson, that bright, shining, bright, blonde, lovely young girl. She, when I met her, she, as she said, she was a shell of a person. And she couldn't even feed herself. She was so anxious. She was agoraphobic. She was just nuts. Like, her business, she was a seamstress and a designer, but had a non existent business. And through just, she popped real quick. Some people take a little bit longer, but like, for how much she did, but I think she was just really ready. She popped so quick. She, um, went to uh all of a sudden her business is thriving she's drowning in orders her instagram account blew up to into like the thirty thousands, like in like twenty seven thousand during the time we're working together she went on a holiday to italy which was epic because she couldn't leave a property before that her chronic pain that she thought she was dying from literally disappeared like all of this stuff happened yeah so if that's for you or you just want to explore it maybe talk about it send me a message i'm I'm very, I'm, I'll be available in the next week to start one-to-one -one work again and hold space. So if you want to get in on that, please send me a message. If you want to read my Healers ebook, go to the link in my bio, DM me Healers ebook, or go to spiritualsuccessjourney.com slash Healers ebook, all of that. Gorgeous. Thank you so much for being here live. I really hope to see you here again. Please add me to your favorites uh, so that Instagram doesn't zoom me off into the unknown. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. If you want to talk about anything spiritual, I'm here. So, have a wonderful day. I'm going to go look for some more squirrels. <laughs> okay, bye gorgeous. Mwah.